Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. New York now the epicenter of the COVID-19 outbreak here in the U.S. after Governor Cuomo announced more than 4,000 new cases in the state after more testing, bringing the total to more than 15,000. Nearly 2,000 people have been hospitalized. Locally, there are 68 confirmed cases in Monroe County, two in Livingston County, six in Ontario, and two in Wyoming. Now, some of those cases are impacting local health care and senior living facilities. According to St. Anne's Community in Rochester, a patient there has tested positive. The facility says the person is on the rehabilitation floor and that other patients on the floor have been isolated. St. Anne's has also contacted the county health department and all of the families of affected patients. Meantime, a nurse at Heathwood Senior Living Facility in Penfield tested positive for the COVID-19 coronavirus. A spokeswoman telling us the nurse informed the facility of her diagnosis Friday. She hadn't worked a shift there since March 11th and we're told she had minimal contact with residents at the time. According to Heathwood, no other staff or patients are showing signs of the coronavirus but are screened daily. Families of residents have been notified and the Monroe County Health Department is investigating. Well, America is waiting this morning as Congress fails to reach a deal on a trillion dollar stimulus package. A procedural vote split 47 to 47. Democrats lining up against the proposal saying it favors corporations over workers. Republicans have called for another vote this morning, right after the opening bell on Wall Street. Well, to help combat the spread of the virus, Governor Cuomo asking the Army Corps of Engineers to begin building temporary hospitals in New York. Three sites have been selected on Long Island and Manhattan. These sites will help accommodate the huge surge in COVID-19 patients, expected to last the next several months. Cuomo said construction can and should begin today. Well, the 2020 Olympic Games were supposed to start in July. Now the IOC is discussing postponing the Games. Last night, Team Canada, the first country to announce it will not send athletes to Tokyo, even if the Games go on as scheduled. The Canadian Olympic Committee releasing a statement calling for a one-year postponement due to COVID-19. The International Olympic Committee is expected to make a decision by mid-April. All right, a cold and wet start. To the week. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Mark. Yes, indeed. A little bit of wet snow falling in Rochester this morning, and we'll find a few rain showers as well. As far as temperatures are concerned, we should be into the mid 40s here for this afternoon. That's just about uh, average. The normal high for today is 45. Cloudy uh, for sure. The clouds are going nowhere here uh, throughout the day. You can see there's a system to the west of bringing in some of the wet snow that's falling this morning. There will be some rain showers too this afternoon. As far as accumulations are concerned, we're not talking about much more than a coating to maybe a half inch on some hilltops. And there you go. You definitely need the umbrella if you have to go outside today with temperatures again into the low 40s for highs. Guys, back to you. A far cry from 70, that's for sure. Oh, sure is. All sure. right, we'll adjust. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Stay safe and have a great day.